Hey guys, I'm going to do a app review today, slightly different from all the other videos that are in the channel. I found this app is very interesting and I thought it would be nice to share it with you guys. Uh, the app we are going to talk about is MI File Explorer. This app came with the uh, Resurrection Remix custom ROM I have installed a uh, few weeks also. And I have tried to locate this app uh, in Play Store but I couldn't find it, maybe it's not there, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, I have posted a link uh, uh, so you can download the APK file from there. Uh, even though I got it through, uh, got this app through Resurrection Remix uh, custom ROM, this app originally shipped with uh, MIUI Chinese custom ROM. And uh, if you want to know more about MIUI, um, you can click the link under video description. Alright, uh, let's check out the app. Uh, when you open the app, uh, you could see um, three tabs on top uh, file browser SD card and FTP and uh, it has a nice clean layout I like it very much and on the bottom you could see indicators uh, about space available in your device both uh, internal and external memory card uh, and uh, this tab is uh, more, more or less a summary of all the files that are in the system uh, you can see categories for music, uh, videos, uh, pictures, documents, uh, archives, application files and miscellaneous files. Uh, files that are not fall under above categories uh, will fall under miscellaneous. And custom category, you can define uh, extensions, custom extensions. Uh, let me show you. Uh, you can go in here and define extensions. So whatever files with that extension will fall under custom category and here you have favorites uh, uh, any file that are in the system you can uh, uh, you can add it to favorites and uh, it will be displayed in here so let me go into SD card and let's say if I want to add this uh, DCIM uh, folder to be uh, shown in favorites so I just have to click uh, this star mark then uh, it will be added to favorites as you can see it will be listed in here and the other tab is for SD card here you can see all the files uh, or directories that are in your device <coughs> uh, both internal and external memory card uh, by default it will show you the internal memory card and if you want to go into external memory card you can click external memory card and uh, you can come back and uh, you can from here you can add uh, these files or folders to your favorite also if you click on options uh, nice context menu will open from here you can delete select all copy move there are plenty of options available and uh, imp one important uh, option here I have seen uh, it's uh, you can compress one directory or file to zip archive um, uh, it's it's a new feature and if you click on send uh, you, actually you can't send a directory let me select one file and if, let's say if I want to send this uh, if I click on send it will open all the programs that are expecting files from other programs so these are the programs that are installed in my computer so you can share your files with these programs and uh, if you click on options uh, and if you click on settings uh, there are plenty of settings you can play around you can select uh, this option if you want to uh, show your hidden files in your file explorer and uh, you can put a tick uh, under auto updates to receive automatic updates and view mode can be you can change the view mode to list mode or grid mode i like uh, list mode so i leave it and uh, minimum file size and home folder here you can define home folder for your uh, file explorer now it is when you click on file browser it goes to sd card uh, by default you can change uh, it to any directory in your system and your language and uh, there's another option for root explorer if you have rooted your phone you can enable this option I have already rooted my device so it will ask for root permission I'm gonna give um, root permission for that program so 
uh, if you haven't rooted your phone yet i strongly recommend to do it uh, you can check out my videos about routing in my channel uh, i will also post some links below also there is another option here uh, you can uh, mount root and system folders as writable this would be useful if you want to write something to your root directory or system directory so that option also available you, uh, this also needs root privilege uh, so you, you have to root your phone to uh, be able to enable these uh, options and uh, our last step is uh, uh, you can uh, our last step is FTP tab um, Uh, th there's a FTP server embedded with uh, in my file explorer uh, if you if you are connected to a wireless network this option will be available for you you can start the server um, by clicking it here I have already connected to my to a wireless network uh, my Wi-Fi is on I'm connected to my hotspot so this option will be available only if you are connected to a wireless network so if you click start uh, it will give you a IP address uh, of the FTP server and the port number so from so you can connect through uh, your computer uh, to, through any FTP client and browse the files that are in the direct uh, in the device uh, let me show you how that can be done so your FTP server is running. Let me go to my PC and I'm using Ubuntu. Uh, let me open up. You can use any file uh, FTP client. I'm going to use FileZilla. Uh, you can put the IP address uh, that can be seen in here. Uh, our IP address is 192.168.0.2 21 21 so I'm gonna put these details in here and uh, what is 21 21 and uh, we forgot to set the username and password uh, let me go into the device And uh, you can click on settings here you can put the username and the password so I have put already my username and the password so I'm gonna put these details in uh, my FTP client so name the password and uh, you can click connect you can click on connect it will connect to the device and it will list uh, all the directories that are in the direct uh, in the device here you can see all the directories And uh, you can go into SD card and uh, external SD card you can browse uh, through the directories this external direct uh, external SD card so this is very useful when you don't have a data cable and uh, if you want to transfer something through uh, uh, to the phone and or you, if you want to get something from the phone you can use your wireless network and uh, enable the FTP server on the phone and uh, transfer file in between so it's very useful and one more thing if you are using uh, Ubuntu Linux system uh, you don't have to have any FTP client you just can use file Nautilus uh, uh, file manager uh, you can use Nautilus and uh, click control L 
and uh, you can put uh, FTP details here. So it will ask for your for a username and password. I'm gonna give the password and connect. It will connect uh, to the device and list the, uh, list all the files and directories that are in the de device. Uh, the good thing is you can add this to uh, you can make it a bookmark. You can add it to a bookmark. So it will be added uh, to your bookmarks in uh, Nautilus. So whenever you open Nautilus, uh, this option is there. You don't have to type it again. Let me open and show you. If you go into Nautilus, it will open up and uh, this option is already there. So you just have to click it you uh, you can directly browse your directories and file in your system so file transfer is very easy in linux all right uh, that's that pretty much wraps it up uh, install the app and try it and uh, share your comments if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and uh, subscribe to get uh, automatic notification whenever i posted the video all right guys thanks for watching uh, see you in another episode